Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Mennonil Tarot. <coughs> Sorry. Thanks very much for joining our channel. Um, I have got a request for um, Scorpio and Aries, so please let me take what resonates. It's not a personal reading. I can only read what energy comes off the card. I don't know whether it will connect to you personally, but um, this is just a, a, a request of um, the, these two signs, okay? All right, Scorpio and Aries. Scorpio and Aries. God, these cards sometimes can take forever to come out. Scorpio and Aries. Alright. Alright, Scorpio and Aries. Let us see. Sorry, I got my rope on. It's so cold here. Shouldn't be. I'm in the hottest area you can be. <laughs> All right, a new love will ignite unexpectedly. To keep them, you must first become friends. Very smart, constantly seeking change upends your life. Okay, so <clears throat> Scorpio, this person may may change your your life, but you first need to become friends with this person. Like you know, learn to trust, learn their behaviour, learn um what it is that makes them happy and and you know you will you will flow with that if you if you go that you know, down that path aries is not the easiest person to deal with scorpio in the business sense you two will make great partners um but in relationships it will be a little bit hard you might have to take a little bit of back seat to um not not so much a back seat like you, you can do whatever you want but um I, I kind of feel with Aries is they struggle to work with their heart. They're more gifters. They they show you love by gifting you things, by taking you out, by buying you things, by taking you on holidays and um making sure that you have the best of everything because Aries likes their person to look amazing next to them because they can be very vain, okay? All right, so um, you will establish a new and important friendship with someone you meet by chance. Uh, new relationships, surprise developments and mutual feelings. So I feel like the feelings are mutual, but are you friends yet or are you lovers? I, I'm not really sure. Are they with somebody else? I'm not really sure either. It's not indicating that, but it is indicating that you have to become this person's friend. So friendship has come up in two of these cards, okay? Now, your next card, it actually says, um, when you learn the truth, it will no longer hurt you. A positive sign, though. And there is positive predictions for the future in this connection, all right? Um, you will quickly deal with your problems and they will disperse without leaving a trace. So if you've had any problems with this person, um, that's going to be sorted out. And there is a strong and true love here, okay? But um, how are you two connected? It doesn't really tell me, but friendship seems to be coming up a lot, okay? All right, so I'll just pull out a few cards for you here. Tell me about Scorpio and Aries. If you haven't heard from them okay you will but this person uh, currently has a very in and out energy where there may be options available to them or there there is a sense of confusion with this person okay um, usually this card indicates that there's there's options whether it's for you or whether it's for this person but they're keeping their options open okay now if you're going to hear from this person, for whoever this is for, it could take a week or two, but there's communication, something that is coming in very fast, okay? Alright, give me another card on Aries and Scorpio. Look. I'm going to tell you that this person is currently maybe dealing with other people. Okay. 
I, I think they haven't really made a choice yet. But what I'm seeing is that there is an offer that is coming to you because they feel the passion between you and them. Um, they may be in a connection with somebody else, but they are turning their back on things that no longer serve them. And they're going to go towards a wish fulfillment. I don't know whether this person needs to separate, go through a divorce, but they want things to be balanced between you and them. And then something will come to an end and something new will begin. Okay. I do feel that they're watching you. Well, you're watching them. Somebody's spying on somebody. Yeah. They're, they're in a repeated pattern. Okay. Now, I've got to tell you, when this person does come in and speak to you, which they are, I, I truly feel that they are, um, try and choose your battles wisely with this person. Okay. Um, they're not going to argue with you. But just if you... Yeah. Make it, you, you're trying to, someone's trying to make a head over heart decision, whether it's you or them, but there is somebody walking away. They're walking away and they're going towards something that is better. So there is a focus on home stability and, and the finances, okay? And they are thinking of you as you were thinking of them. So I do feel they're traveling to your home. You are coming in as the empress, male or female, and somebody wants to release a heavy burden with you, okay? Somebody that was all at a crossroad didn't know what to, what to choose. So I, I would say that's the options. But wherever they are, I don't know whether this is you or whether this is them. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of people involved in this situation. But they're going to make a choice. They're going to make a choice. And I do feel there's an apology coming your way. And somebody's going to find the strength and courage to be able to, you know, put something to an end and start a new be new beginning, okay? So, um, I don't know who that's for, but hopefully it relates to somebody. And if you do want a private reading, you can go to my About section and, um, and we'll get back to you in 24 hours, okay? All right, take care and thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please press the like button. Bye for now.